Welcome everybody to the, I think I ran the wrong intro there, uh, Onward VR Master League Custom Map Tournament Week 5 Beginners versus Boss Fight. We are waiting on a few people to get into the lobby, but we do have the ban information, so we'll get over that real quick. Um, let's take a look. Bans are terminal on the uh, beginner side. Beginners are home here. Yes, they're banning terminal. And... Boss fights banning shipyard. So two of the smallest maps this week are out. Look at the current list of maps for this week. We have Sand, Arctic, USS Quest, Orbital, Shipyard, Terminal, Frostbite, Panda Towers, and Expedition Depths. A lot of close quarters matches this week, or maps this week, but it seems like uh, the closest of quarters. Shipyard's not that small. It, it's a large map, but it, it feels really quick. Um, so getting that out of the way still leaves Arctic, USS Quest, and Sand as close quarters maps. Uh, Frostbite, however, probably the largest map in this week's lineup. Let's see what we have in the lobby. Still waiting on a few people. I'm going to quickly fix a few things that I forgot to fix before. While I talk. Anyway, yeah, we are going to have, sorry, I, I said Frostbite, but I didn't say that map one is going to be Frostbite. That's where we're starting at. A large map. Not a fan of this map, personally. It, uh, I don't know, it just um, it doesn't feel right to me. everything that we need to fix. We're back into the game now. So is there no sound on this map or do I have it turned off in my headphones? Because I don't hear anything. Or, um, what did I do? I broke it. There it is. I just had to turn down a bit. This map is very quiet. barely any ambient noise, so all you're going to hear is a lot of footsteps and gunshots. I mean, those are really, that's really all you get. Oh man, terminal went away when I did that sink. Dang it. We do it live, people. We do it live. The downfalls of casting two separate tournaments in the same day. You forget things. Go. That's back. There we go. Crossbite's back. Much better. All right, so back to casting because that's what you came here for.
We were waiting on a couple of teams. Or a couple of members still. We have beginners roster. Pause. I see Woods, Dr. Killinger, Woods 43, and Stragic. And on the boss fight side, so far we have 35, Lonely Viper, and Lego. I'm assuming we're going to see some Radar Head and potentially UC Death. I think that's their standard lineup there. And once again, go for the folks at home. If the audio sounds weird, please let me know. Tag me. I am in chat. It will highlight me so I can see it. Uh, I am on a five minute delay. Question mark. Uh, but I think we're playing six minute rounds now. So let's do a little fly around on this map. Let me, hide. Let me show you the map on screen. That would help, would it not? All right, there we go. There's the map. Now oh, we can take a look around. We've got the objective. I hear it. It's over here somewhere. There's the objective. Now, I only played this map for the first time uh, yesterday? Question mark? I think it was yesterday. Uh, and we didn't have a full lobby. It was just me and Soda. So, you know, didn't really get to try out the feel of the map. But from what I'm seeing on this map, so what I what I experienced the it's very lanular. It forces you into these these um, valleys. Yeah, that's the word I want. Valleys to get through. You can take this middle area. You can get up high here. You can get up high on on any of these mountaintops. They're all available to climb up. The problem is climbing down. The angle of them is just steep enough that if you come down this quickly, you will hurt or potentially down yourself when you hit the bottom. Uh, it's just, you know, and you have to do it slowly. So if you're coming down on the attacking or on the defender side, if you're like coming down hill, hill here, you have to just kind of waddle down the hill, you know, saunter down the hill, if you will. And uh, then you're potentially open for getting shot. So not the best. Still waiting on two members of the boss fight team. So I think what we're actually going to do is cut to a quick intermission and we will be right back.
All right, we're just going to hop into the round here, and it does look like we've got all five in the lobby for both teams. Beginners have Paws, Icy Woods, Dr. Killinger, Woods 43, and Strajak. And on the boss fight side, we have 35, Lonely Viper, Lejil, UC Death, and Radar Head. And we wanted to give you a quick overview of this map for the folks at home that have not played it. This is Frostbite. You've got... The only two objectives I've seen on this map are in that building there and that one right there. I didn't get to play a whole lot. They didn't really seem to move much. I'm assuming there are more objectives on this map, but the way it's built, it seems like it's set up to be, uh, you know, all the objectives would be on this side of this hill bank and all the spawns would be on this side or vice versa you could i mean you could spawn it on different sides but i don't know if there would be objectives in the middle maybe there are and i haven't played them yet but that would be a much more difficult position but this is the map so on the left side we have the west side of the map we're looking at we're looking at it in a north facing orientation so left side is west side right side is east and the the movements I mean, one, there's not a lot of cover, right? It's going to be a lot of peaking hilltops. And then you want to run down. You want to get, you know, to the next hill, peak it. Run to the next hill, peak it. But once you get to about here, your coverage is very limited. And the defenders have, like, at least four hilltops. We got, we got one, two, three, four, five-ish. That would be a really far off objective. But they could be behind any of those. Plus, they could be high or low. And it just seems like a, a Volk heavy defense to me. Maybe you could even, I don't know how it would look, but maybe you could even like prone here behind this tree. I don't know if you can get into the trees. You can't on the camera. So those have colliders. So maybe the players can't get into them either, but they could sit behind them. And I'm assuming the collider lets you shoot through it. So you could prone, you could get down here and kind of just wait and see what happens. But, uh, Everyone's in the lobby. I'm not sure what we're waiting for here. I am a fan of the models used on this level. They all look very good. I mean, look at this. Look at this house. This looks so good. Although this is a massive house. This is a four-story. There's another floor, right? There's an attic here. This is four floors in one building. That's a lot of verticality. And they all have different windows the bottom three can all look out this way but the bottom one is basically useless the second floor i think is also basically useless so you got to be up on the third floor to be able to see out across the map and there's the beeps so we are finally getting into round one on map one beginners versus boss fight custom map tournament i believe i was told earlier today that both these teams are undefeated and we'll see who comes out on top The spawn for boss fight inside this house. Actually take a overhead look here. Who is that and what are they doing? Strajic, way up in the hill. Trying to get that long range. You don't have... He's only got a 2x, so not a very long range gun. But he's going to be pushing this south side all by himself. Viper, with that long range gun, with the scope, finds pause on his approach. And confirms him. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's custom maps that I don't get game audio on. Because I had comms all morning casting regular maps for in-game comms. It's got to be customs. Killinger putting rounds downrange onto Viper's position. Woods 43 creeping up on that side, on the north side there. Like I said, not a lot of cover. I mean, he's going to be creeping along the wall or he's just going to sit here and wait to see if he can find it. Giving away his position, shooting at what he thinks is a person. Viper putting shots back downrange at him. And I know I did that a lot the other day too. Because of how this map is built, you assume that anything peeking up over one of these hills is an enemy. But the, if you look at certain angles, there'd be trees behind it. Viper finds Woods 43. 
and takes him down. But you see a little bit of a tree pop up from behind a hill, and you assume that it's a head, so you shoot at it, giving away your position. Everybody's shooting at Viper's Hill. Nobody can actually tell where he's at. Strategic did find one. Strategic moving up fairly easily on the south side here. Can he find Viper all the way across the map? That's a long shot and a lot of fog. Not sure if he will be able to see it. I see Wood still putting those rounds down range at Viper. They're just trying to suppress that sniper rifle and let the rest of the team move into position. I see Wood's rotating over towards strategic position. Now Viper's still down on the bottom. And again, these hills just give you so much potential, so many potential peaks. I mean, you could be up at the top, you could peek down the side. He can just keep relocating and it's hard. One, it's already hard to hit him. I mean, you're shooting at a head behind a hill at range. But then the fact that he can rotate and move where he wants to be and he has that 12X and a headshot onto Killinger. Let's take a look at that on the replay. Look at this Viper just watching, watching. Killinger peeks his head up and Viper goes, pop! Here's him out. This is a sniper favored map. Beginner's one of the top teams that doesn't have a sniper, a designated sniper. They've got people that use the 2X like Stragic, but they do not have a designated 12X player. Uh, I believe SMC and I'm trying to think who else doesn't. Mayhem has a designated sniper. Boss Fight has a designated sniper. Lobo had one. G-Men don't have one, I don't think. Tragic and Icy Woods crossing that side. Viper not looking across the map, assuming that the rest of his team has that covered. Now he's peeking over that way. Is he going to see the movement? That is, I mean, I can. they're highlighted for me, and I can barely see them. A lot of fog in between, so we're gonna fly over there. Gunshots now from Stragic onto UC Death's position. That is gonna call the attention of Viper, who's gonna be able to rotate and look this way, but they are already past his line of sight. They're behind the hills. Radar is potentially flanking here. He's peeking out. Is he gonna continue the push? Stragic checking his backside, making sure Icy Woods and him are clear. Radar is going for the push now. He's going for the aggressive defensive rotation. Trying to find the backside. Stragic finds Legel. Radar should be moving off of that. I think they have an accurate kill count, and he's going on the hunt. You see Death in the building there. Radar needs to move faster. Stragic dropped something, dropped a mag. Radar's going to see the backside. Finds him. I see Woods needs to turn around. He's pinned between two. He finds Radar. Now you see Death needs to peek it and get the kill. He does, and Boss Fight take their first point. Great plays there from Boss Fight. The the sniper dominating on this map. Uh, I don't really know how you can deal with that if you don't have a sniper of your own. The, peeking against a sniper is just not a good play to do. You can't, you can't do it. I mean, they could be hiding so well and only showing a little bit of their gun and not moving. And really the easiest way to tell where people are in this game in VR with the headsets that we have are if they're moving. If you see movement, it's easier to shoot it. If they don't move, you're like a T-Rex. You can't uh, can't tell that they're there. And with Viper being such a good shot, I mean, he's been practicing with that 12X. I I wouldn't want to play against them, personally. I, I hate playing against snipers. That's why we ban downfall every time. But, uh, I mean, we'll see how beginners defend this the thing is beginners are gonna have to defend it from on the objective and staying tucked in which is gonna let boss fight take a lot more of the map because if they peek out and try and get those picks viper will be able to see them i'm assuming he's gonna sit back on the second or third row of hills and just be able to pick off players as they come Here we are in round two.
beginners on defense. Can they hold? Smokes in my camera view. Yeah, beginners, entire defense setting up pretty much identical to what boss fight had. Killinger being the sniper point man on the hill here and Stratic running around. Maybe he's gonna go on a long flank. He's gonna find some shots. He's taking shots at Viper and Radar's there to back him up. Killinger here looking across the map. Now that's actually a better defensive position, I think, looking across the map because you can catch anyone making this cross here, which is wide open. And if you don't give away your position early, if you don't shoot, maybe no one will know you're there. However, he is definitely being scanned by the likes of UC Death and 35. This hill is being scanned. Look back over here at Stragic. He's tucked in in the corner. Just gonna hopefully stay put and wait. Let him come to him. Dillinger still here. Legel and... No, just Legel in the middle house. Second floor. Gives you some good views. Ooh, a nade there from Killinger. Not gonna find anybody. You see Death pushing up as well. Boss fight slowly making their approach. Lasers on, where's that? 35, lasers on Killinger's Hill. You see Death also on Killinger's Hill. Gunshot from Radar. Viper and Radar both looking for Stradjack's position. Can't find it. Pause, able to find UC Death on his approach to Killinger. Protecting their defense point man there. Now 35 has to worry about that as well. Tragic still over here, hiding in his corner. But I think that if they know he's in that corner, it's not as good as a position. If he stayed quiet this whole time, which I can't remember if he had or not, I don't think... He shot at them when he made that cross. So I'm not sure if that's going to work out for him. Pause here now. Looking for 35. 35 scanning, missing... I was looking. Is he going to see it? Viper finds Killinger. From across the map. We always say that teams attack how they defend and Viper just took out his position on the defense from Killinger. Now he's pushing up on his tragic. 35 taking a There we go, finding pause. Pause goes down, clears out that angle. Now we're back over here on Stragic's side. Minute 45 left, three beginners alive, four boss fight up. Viper watching that corner. With a radar head backup, Viper gonna rush the corner, come around firing, and he does. Radar, Viper goes down, radar immediately starts shooting to make sure that that kill doesn't push out and get him as well. Now the flashes are coming in, let's go over here. Lejel pushing up on the Woods 43. I see Woods and Woods 43, last two members standing on Beginners.
good three-man push here from boss fight both the woods brothers watching from the same angle different positions which means that it's hard to kill both of them in one swing 35 underneath icy woods definitely hurt him legend going for the cap doesn't get it 35 35 shooting at the wrong person doesn't see woods 43 there Radar head takes down Icy Woods in the root or in the second floor. 35 has no idea where those shots came from. And he goes down. Now radar. I'm assuming comms are coming out from 35. That double tap did not happen. Now Woods 43 has to worry about it. He gets the double tap. Radar comes around the corner. Radar doesn't have a gun up. He does. Radar takes the second point from beginners. Boss fight taking two points so far on Frostbite. Almost, almost a team kill there for on the boss fight side of that approach. Now we're moving, oh, I was right, or I was wrong. I don't know, I don't know what I said earlier, but there is an objective in the middle of the map and we're gonna move to this one now in the center house. I'm assuming that the spawn is gonna be in the center house with the objective. Uh, but this leaves a lot of potential map movement for the rest of the team. I mean, if the objective's there, and I'm assuming you spawn there, you have all of this to guard. They could come from any direction. They could rotate around. They could encircle this objective. I mean, there's nothing... There's no safe area. And if you're forced to defend out of this building, that's not the greatest defense. I mean, at best you can push out and you can hide in these log piles you can hide behind a tree but nothing around here gives you coverage from more than one angle besides being in the building so you could i mean you could push down you could go into the valleys here hide behind the rocks and guard this side you could push down there's no there's no good rock over here there's just trees or uh fences and i'm pretty sure that these fences are going to be penetrable because i believe evolution made this map and he does a very good job about uh, he does he does a good job with his penetration. Let's let's say it like that. Let, that's what you really wanted to hear, chat. Um, what kind of defense? Oh no, we're hopping into round three. This is the defensive spawn, and that is the offensive spawn. The objective is basically halfway between both of them. Viper here, pre-fire coming out from icy woods. Four members, three members of boss fight going for the center objective viper going under this bridge here We're gonna try and peek with that sniper rifle see if he can find anybody but if he's not careful with 43 can find them and he finds legel instead going into the center house now the rest of beginners are rushing up icy woods takes down lonely viper killinger's running up on the objective killinger's in the building killinger goes inside you see death trades with killinger now we're back outside strategic's inside with the tab let out in the smoke nobody on boss fights there raider doesn't know anyone made it inside Radar has no idea. Strategic's capping right now, right in front of Radar. If that smoke runs away. And there it is. The cap from Beginners tying it back up. That aggressive play there. Beginners taking two. If you see smoke on objective, you go into the smoke, people. I shouldn't have to tell high-ranking teams this. It's always the smoke that gets you. Always the smoke. But man, those spawns, that's, that's one of the things we talk about when we talk about these custom maps. We're trying to verify if that is a viable spawn and objective for this map. Should Volk have spawned in the, in the building with the objective? Personally, I think yes. Having to run towards the objective means that if you miss one person and they, if Marsoc decides to send their people just YOLOing towards the objective, if you miss one person, they can get there either at the same time or quicker than you, and that's no good. Especially when the angles that you're taking to get there are exposed, both spawns can shoot at each other. Uh, I personally don't think that that's a great spawn. And we'll see if it's mirrored spawns for this next round. But yeah, I think that needs some tweaking. It could even be back here 
you know, it doesn't have to be in the building. They could spawn down here in the valley or something. But over here, yeah, mirrored spawns. This is just not, I mean, they can see each other at spawn. Round four, map one. Here we go, tied up 2-2. Two, two. And if beginners are all opting to, cro to be on the left side of this firing line, it's like they're gonna push hard. Icy Wood with LMG putting rounds down range. Killinger and Paw's gonna be moving up here. Viper Legel and Radar Head gonna be dealing with Killinger as he comes around the corner. He's not looking the right way. Legel takes him down. Puts a lot of extra rounds into that body, making sure it's extra dead. Now Paws is on the top of the hill here. And it looks like the aggressive push from boss fight is going to play out pretty well here radar now underneath pause takes him down radar should know where that came from but it is hard to shoot uphill radar finds pause the nice snapshot there you see death doing his best rock impression there a drone from viper that drone sounds funky Should see Icy Woods here on the right. Let's see if he gets that information across. Not really sure on the call out of uh, on this map. I don't know if teams have Icy Woods putting shots down range onto Viper radar just underneath his line of sight. Thirty-five fans, tragic. Beginners' defense starting to crumble. Boss fight looking strong on this map. Beginners have two points, but that was from one cap, one round, to tie it up. I see Woods rotating back towards objective. Woods forty-three, only one on defense on the objective. I see Woods needs to get back there. Radar is currently tracking, like footsteps in the snow, and he finds I see Woods, takes him down. Now, boss fight have encircled the main building. Four on one. Woods 43 needs to just go down. Radar finds and confirms that kill. And boss fight take their third point. Taking a look at the scoreboard here. We've got Viper with five. Radar with six. On the beginner side, we have Icy Woods, Woods 43, and Strategic all with three. So Radar and Viper carrying the entire scoreboard here and doing very well together. The boss fight team right now just looks very coordinated. We're moving objectives now. Let's see where we're going to. I'm assuming it's going to be the one in this building. Oh, where's the, where's the objective? I can't see my mic. My webcam is... uh. Or, sorry, I can't see my map. My webcam is right in front of it. This is the objective now. I haven't played this one. This one looks a lot more defensible than the last one. Depending on where the spawn is, you're going to be able to get out. You know, you can get, you can get on your hill, you can get on your rock, you can get on that hill, get in that building. You can run all the way. You can just YOLO all the way over to that corner like Strategic did last time and kind of get tucked in in a nice hidden position. And we're going to hop into round six, five, round five. There's a cat. Boss fight here. Beginners spawning in the, uh, not on the far side of the map, but about halfway through the map. And to me, those look like good potential spawns. Uh, you know, equidistant between cover for both teams, so the teams can get to where they need to set up instead of getting shot out in the open and while they're running trying to find a defensive position but not too far away that the defenders could push out aggressively beginners have moved up basically one valley away 
Now shots ringing out from Viper. Once again, on this hill with the tree and the and just covering everything. I see what's putting that suppressing fire down onto that. Radar opting to rotate, and he goes down to Stragic. Stragic's way behind here. His position is known. I thought he was back farther across the map. Didn't get to uh, see that kill. That's like 35. You see Death in the window upstairs, not seeing him. Stragic not seeing you see Death up in the top floor, just barely missing each other. Now he's watching the window. Downstairs, he sees 35. You see Death needs to come outside. He does find Stragic. Stragic is just down. You see Death needs to get that confirmation out. And now it's a four on three beginners, but all four of the beginners are across the map. Shots ringing out. Just trying to get a nice overview and figure out where these teams are coming from. Shots are, I'm assuming, coming from Wood 43 in the center house, just putting rounds downrange onto Viper's Hill, I believe. I can't really see the laser. It's hitting a tree, but I'm pretty sure he's shooting at Viper still trying to suppress him. Killinger moving up. Viper aware and has dropped back. He's now doing his best tree impression. Legel doing a, having a nice defensive position there under the um, porch. Yeah, we'll call that a porch. Killinger getting really close. So you're going to see the feet of Viper. Oh, Viper putting shots out. Killinger immediately snapping to him. Pause, taking him down instead. Legel now peeking out, leaving his cover. I don't know if that's what I would do, but a nade coming up. Pause coming around the corner. Oh, that flashbang got them both. Oh, bad nade, bad nade. Oh, no! At the VR Master League, we only run replays for comedic effect, and let's watch Legel just flub a frag grenade and down himself in what could have been a very epic grenade toss onto these two. I mean, the flash was perfect. If he would have got a frag out instead, that would have been a double kill. And you see Death watching towards the objective. Last defender standing. Four beginners coming in on the objective. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wonder if Pause is on his quest or his... PC right now because uh, UC Death finds Killinger and he's running towards the objective. He needs to get there quick because Woods 43 and Icy Woods are coming around the backside. You're going to see him. UC Death checking that smoke. At least one of the boss fight members knows smoke on objective is bad. But I'm wondering if what we were seeing there were, or what uh, with pause, was a quest mismatch on the terrain or just bad terrain in general. Um, I'll have to find that out. But that's a, another point for beginners tying it back up. 3-3. Three, three. Why don't I have... I don't have points on the scoreboard? That's cool. Um, that, make, that makes sense. Let's try this again. Hmm. This is my concern face. Um, if I can fix that. There we go. Now we have scores. Thanks, chat, for letting me know that stuff's not working right. This is, you have one job, chat. You have one job. Just watch and let me know what's wrong. That's all I need. That's all I need from you. Work with me here. 
Tied up, 3-3. Same objective. In that uh, shack. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know. Let's see. I'd call that main house, stables. Barn? I'd call it a barn. Maybe a garage? I don't know. It could be a garage. Where you keep your snowmobiles. We go round six. Match point. Sorry, map point, not match point. Map point. Different spawn for boss fight. Gonna have a lot of pre fire down that lane. No, it doesn't look like they are. Watch the defensive spread here, because this is what I'm really interested in. When we watch these custom map tournaments, I'm more interested in how people have set up defense, because offense you can kind of make up as you go, but defense is the 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 more strategized side. It's 43 here creeping up into center house. Is he going to find UC Death? Oh, UC Death is outside the house. 35 misses him, Hoods 43 getting tucked up in on the top floor is now pinned between two players. Any kind of utility would be a good play right now. Hoods 43 in a tough spot. If Viper just peeks up over the hill over here, if Radar peeks up over the hill, we're gonna have a better line of sight onto the top floor. Radar not seeing that. You see Death checking the downstairs, calling it clear, I'm assuming. But Woods 43 is upstairs. Doesn't look like they want to rush it. The easier play here is to call in support. Someone else can get this shot. I mean, this is a clean shot right here. That grenade going up and out. He threw it up the stairs and it went out the front door. Flash 35. Radar should have this line. He's checking the window right next to it. Can't see Woods 43 right there next to him. Ah. And there's one of those. Oh, you see Death checked all his corners, knew that he had to have been there. Comes around the corner, free firing. Dr. Killinger finds Legel, shoots himself in the hand. I saw some blood there. Legel goes down. Confirmation nade going out. As we were saying, UC Death definitely knew that that was the only spot that IC Woods could still be in. Or Woods 43. Which one was it? That was Woods 43. Although I still blame Radar for not just shooting him. Looks like UC Death and 35 are worried about a flanker now that their teammate Lejel went down on the far side. Shot! One shot from Lonely Viper rings out across the battlefield and breaking the silence. Radar and Viper moving up here. UC Death and 35. The standard two man teams for boss fight. They seem to uh, prefer these, th this kind of split. Lejel, unfortunately, getting the short end of that stick and having to go solo or. Running in a 3-2. Shots from Stragic at nothing. Oh, at the drone. He took down the drone, it looks like. Pause on the top floor watching the right side. This The defense here is pretty well stacked. You've got Pause watching Killinger's flank. Killinger watching the far north side. Stragic also watching the north side. I see Woods. Not watching anything anymore as he goes down to Viper. He was watching out the door. There's his body. He's looking out the door prone. 
watching the south side. Now radar pushing up. And once again, Viper scanning this Killinger spot. That's where someone has been on that hill every single round this map. Even when the objective wasn't over here. Now pause looking out the door from the... A, a, a different angle there, but probably a lot safer. He's looking down through the opening and out the windows. Instead of peeking out these windows, Killinger and 35 trade on the north side, leaving Stragic alone in the north behind objective. People taking advantage of the elevated buildings here. Stragic actually hiding behind them. Last round we saw uh legel underneath here radar scanning that now or sorry viper scanning that now doesn't see tragic he's coming slowly radar and viper know they need to clear this building that runs up Once again, goes down shooting the body on the confirmation Viper finds Tragic on the objective. Now pause. Only defender left. Beginners and boss fight tied 3-3. Two attackers left. Viper should know that there's someone above him. He does. He gets his gun up. He's trying to find the kill. Trying to get the coverage onto that window. You see Death getting in the objective. This is a cap. Viper putting the shots down range. You see Death typing in the code. Viper running on as well. Boss fight run out of time! Oh my god! I wasn't even paying attention! Oh no! Oh no! I gotta watch this replay! Oh no! What would have been a boss fight 3... Sorry, 5-3 win is now a beginner's 4-3 win based on time. Oh no! Such a good play. Man, props to both teams. That was a a great map. Like, a great map. Um, and it, it definitely goes to show that I was wrong about how this map plays. It seemed to be pretty balanced. And we're moving on to Orbital for map number two. This one is one I have not played. Oh, it looks so good. I haven't played this one in a while. Um, let's see. There we go. Waiting on a beginner to show up. We have Paws, Killinger, Woods 43, and Stragic. Uh, I don't know if they have another player to swap out. Maybe Smoils is coming in here. I see Woods currently missing from the roster. On the boss fight side, we have 35, Viper, Legel, UC Death, and Radar Head still. They're pretty five, pretty standard five lineup. There's Smoils coming in on the beginner's side. like our last member is in beginners roster now icy woods dr killinger woods 43 strategic and smoils
this map along with Spaceship is a Mono... Monarchid. That's how you say his name, but we just call him Mono because he has, obviously, Mono. Uh, but this is a large space-based map designed by him. Uh, this one has... Is this a teleporter? Yeah, this elevator is actually not an elevator, but a teleporter. Uh, and I'm getting some hardcore struggling right now on my stream. Alright, everyone's in the lobby. We're gonna uh, hop into the map and just let you take a gander around before round one. This is the map. It's the large center, uh, what would you call this? Um, cafeteria? I don't know, I'm trying to think of the word. It's probably listed. So we have, we have, you know, you've got your little call-out symbols on the on the doors. You can tell I'm going to the cargo base. So let's see what we call. Oh, you don't have it labeled? Of course you don't have the main area labeled. Round one. Map number two. And I'm going to apologize because I don't actually know how this map looks. So I am not responsible for getting lost. <laughs> We're gonna try and follow these players. I'm, I'm so confused. They're all going the wrong way. Oh, they're going the right way. Let's hop over to the defenders because that's gonna be easier to follow here. Watching offense get lost, not a great way to watch the uh, match. Let's see, we've got Woods 43 here, just waiting. He's gonna be hearing those footsteps popping up and swinging around. Actually, let's set a camera here, because this is probably gonna be the first point of contact here. Hellinger up top here with 35, Conjure. Watching those long angles. 35 not wanting to peek out from inside here. There's just so many angles, so much area to cover. And you saw that teleport there was not actually a teleport. That was the the elevator. And you see death and radar now inside the main cafeteria. Legel finds smoils on a peek over a box. Jack, trying to check that angle. Not sure. I don't think he knows where those shots came from because he was looking the other way first. I see Woods finds 35 up top, saves Killinger. There's the body right there. He was moving up onto Killinger's position. So hard to follow the action on this large map. Legel and Lonely Viper there are going to be pushing up on a strategic position. Where is the other radar and UC death? These two are down on the floor. Killinger finds one. Strategic finds another. Viper goes down now. Legel's looking for that refrag over there on Strategic's side. Radar, no idea where those shots came from on his teammate. Goes down to Killinger as well. And now it's all up to Viper. Sorry, all up to Legel. Legel's the only one still alive. Fine Strategic now is rotating away. He has three minutes and 22 seconds left. And three beginners to go through. 
with so much verticality. I mean, coming in here, staying along that wall, could work. Pillinger could kill you here. Once you cross that, I see woods. This is really no good way from that side. Where did Legend go? He's going back down. I think this is your best bet. But again, I still don't know. I don't know if this is the best play. Where's Legend going? Yeah, he's in the, oh my God, he's in the elevator. on a spot where there were multiple dead bodies. All Killinger has to do is peek out his door. Love line, but I see Woods finds the kill instead and beginners take their first point on map number two. Now I wonder, uh, <laughs> this map, like most of the maps that beginners excel on is more tactical in my opinion so a lot of these maps are smaller and run a gun this map is much larger has many more angles and that's where beginners excel at getting their positioning in and being able to cover each other's angles we've seen the uh the passive staggered defenses where Killinger's out front, pauses behind him watching an angle watching his flank and then someone else is just sitting there in the corner waiting for one of them to get shot at and then pop out and get the kill. So Beginners does a very good job on coordinated tactical defense. Not to say the boss fight doesn't. Boss fight also a very strong tactical team but I think that this is where beginners excel. Boss fight, I feel, are the middle ground between slow tactical play and aggressive play. And that's their that's their baseline. So I mean both of these teams can obviously switch pace. No problem. They can they can both go super aggressive and run and gun, or they can go slower. But I think that beginners have the more meticulous play style out of these two it's very close but i think that this map is going to lend itself to beginners and we're going to see what happens on round number two on map number two or not they debated me There we go. Once again, round number two. We'll hit that little button again so you can see what's happening in this spawn. Very different from the last spawn. Take a look at the overhead map. Basically on the other side of the wall. It's gonna be real quick. Dillinger coming up to this door. 35 is watching that. Viper upstairs, radar upstairs. Rajak and Icy Woods on this door. You see Death waiting there to pop up. Maybe waiting for those footstep sounds. Woods, 43, and Smoils opting to go around the map. They're over here on the west side. East side. That's the east side. They're going to come around that tunnel. Potentially go in the uh, Viper's field of view. Let's see if he can see them. No, they're in a tunnel outside of the car or outside of the hangar. Smoils is going to peek into the hangar. Maybe Viper will see this. 
Spoils is scanning it as he as he crosses. You can see that laser getting closer and closer to this door. And he hits Viper. Viper having to retreat. Pull back. Does get hit. Heals. Woods 43 pushing around the map now. Can you fall into that? No, you can't. Stragic coming out the door, and you see Death putting shots onto him. Neither one of them going down. I see Woods finding Legel and uh, Woods 43 finding Viper 35. Oh my god, people are dying left and right. 35 finds Stragic. I see Woods finds you see death. Am I stuck? Can't go out there? That is not a window, apparently. Killinger Woods, 43. I see Woods, Smoils, still alive on the beginner's side. Radar and 35, the only members alive on the boss fight side. Radar up top there. 35 down below. Top over there, radar peeking out. Not going to see anybody. 35 is in a good position there, covered basically from everything until they get towards the objective. And no, 35 takes down radar. Once again, at the VR Master League, we only do things for comedic effect, and we're going to replay that just so they can see what happened, but I'm not really sure. I think 35 was a little stressed, and he goes down to Killinger as he runs back towards the objective, and beginners started their push in. Beginners taking their second point on map number two. Boss fight not looking hot on this one. Not looking as hot as they were on map one. Map one was obviously a better map for them. Frostbite was obviously a better map for them. Now we're moving into the generator room, reactor room. Now, for this objective, uh, I think it's a highly defensible position considering the only ways in are... Look at the map to double check, but... There's no door. Oh, there is a door down here. Okay. Okay, so we've got one door here. Come around the backside here. Door here. Go up top here. So many hallways and rotations here. And you can't see them, right? You can't see people moving in hallways, so you can't tell where they're rotating. So you either have to chase them or just let them go and assume you have a good defensive coverage. And once again, there's the two doors down there and there's the two doors up here. These are the only four entrances into the objective. But see, outside of that room, they can move around anywhere in here. They can, I mean, literally anywhere. All of this map is exposed. They can go wherever they want. And it looks like we are going to be re-hosting. We're having a technical difficulty here. So we will be right back. An audio bug. Beginners have two points. Try and get this updated as quick as possible. Unfortunately, they're not going to get the good objective that they had. Hop back into the game here.
Everyone is back in the lobby. Scores are reset. And we are ready to rumble. New objective is going to be the, what's it labeled as? Hangar Bay. A much less defensible position. gameplay so you can see what's going on show you this that's the objective right there that big green dish that randomly shows up on maps that's the objective now on this one there are a little bit more areas of attack but not that many we've got we've got tunnels up top and below there we're happening in round three Tunnels down there, so two low, three low, four low, five low doors, and one, two high doors. It's like the defense here. I'm gonna opt to all stay inside. Both the Woods Brothers in a great defensive position, actually watching from the backside, Killinger. And Strajek pushed up on the front. Smalls. I mean, basically, they're just taking the corners. You can't shoot all four corners of a room when you enter. So having people spread on opposite sides of doors is the best way to defend a more open objective like this. I really want to fly down this hole. Oh, nothing's happening. Can I fly down this hole? I can only get so far. Great map design, by the way. Definitely doesn't fit the onward theme but it looks beautiful it plays well let's see if we can find some attackers here we got radar and legel over here nobody else with them we've got see what let's follow the uh, approach to this objective so they they'd go all the way down here all the way down here all these hallways are basically choke points kill boxes whatever you want to call them because you could have someone like waiting right here with such a nice little line the problem is you don't know where the enemy's coming from if you haven't played this map a whole lot there's a teleporter there I don't know where that takes you to you keep moving down this hallway and then you're finally, boom, in the objective room. But in the middle of it, not in a great entry point. The only way you can enter in the middle is if you can put some sort of smoke, maybe some flashes in. I think personally I'd go with smoke. It's just not a good, not an easy approach to this objective. Let's see where the rest of the boss fight team is. Some in the cafeteria there in the north. I think that's the cafeteria. Or the command center, not sure. One in the main area. Legel and Radar on the east side there. And is that UC Death creeping up through the hangar airlock. Also, the more complicated maps like this, the, the more complicated the callouts are. Now, this one is nice because it does label where you're going, so you can tell that that's observatory. So you can use the callouts from the map itself. And I believe that uh, Mono has made callout maps, or at least overhead cross sections that show what each room is called, so that you can make your own callouts, but you can have a reference. You see Death here creeping through the cargo hold. Radar behind him now. Legil's still going to be trying to take that door in the middle of the hangar. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. The rest of the team needs to get in position. 35 and Viper moving slowly up through the... I'm going to call this command question mark I don't know where this is observe 
Observation? It's observation. Right? Hey, observatory, I was right. But 35 and Lejel need to be careful not to shoot each other as I'm not sure they're going to be aware that that's where you come out. You know, looking ahead and figuring out where your teammates are on a map that you don't know. And when you pull out the tablet, it only shows a very local area to the tab to your player position. So you just get a general direction of the dot. And I don't know if it's far enough for them to tell. Nades coming out. Finally, shots ringing out, and it's radar on Viper action. And not the good kind, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately. Once again, we're running replays. Filling up my replay buffer here with all these team kills. Some tragic taking some shots from Radar. Tries to peek back out. Radar continues to fire. Holds that trigger down with that SA-80. Drum mags for the win, and he takes down... Project. Legend now taking down Icy Woods as he comes out the door, but Woods 43 gets the immediate refrag. 35 gets the refrag onto that. He goes down to Dr. Killinger. You see Death takes down Dr. Killinger. Radar now in the building. Smoil's the last man standing. Sorry, Radar's in the room. You see Death trying to peek out the corner. Smoil's can see Radar, but Radar can see him as well through the grate of the catwalk, and Boss Fight take their first point on map number two. Great plays all around. I mean, that... So there was a whole lot of build-up there, right? That's the normal EU meta that we're used to. But as soon as those gunshots started happening, the team was set. The reason why it took so long, for the folks at home, the new players watching, we did just host the rookie tournament, so I'm assuming there are some new players, new faces in chat. The reason why it took so long to build up there, these teams needed to get into position around the objective. I really wish I could draw on my map right now, um, but they needed to get around the objective. And as soon as one pushed in, so one pushed in, started shooting. Possibly got a kill, got killed. The rest of the team folds in and finds those kills, and it's just a chain reaction of kills all around, leaving beginners with one man standing and boss fight with two, and boss fight taking that win. They're gonna have the same objective. All right, nope, oh, oh, it's a bait. Here we hopping into round four on map number th two. And counting is hard today, folks. All right, let's see what boss fight does on their defensive positioning. I think beginners had the defensive play, but it looks like boss fight are gonna get a little more aggressive on their play, which is going to allow the potential for someone to get past, right? Someone could sneak past. If no one comes this way, 35's position is useless and he has to run back towards objective. Although he is in a good spot. Smoils there taking the teleporter. It's 43 getting very pushy. And he's already in position. He's just going to sit here and wait. Watching the little sliver of the airlock that he can see. On the boss fight side, instead of these team, uh, this team spreading out into the four corners, they've actually stacked UC Death and Radar on top of each other, but on different floors, which still makes it pretty hard to shoot them both at the same time. Plus, Radar has a much better 
coverage of the objective. And I think if he just kind of hangs out and waits, he's got the, the good timing. Yeah, I see Woods does find 35. Coming around that corner. Legel downs Strajek with a grenade. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna keep pushing? I can't keep track of all this action, folks. Can't go that way. That's a teleporter. Viper. What? What is that? Viper using iron sights today, folks. Finds one in the cafeteria. Viper now watching for a second one to come out. I see Wood's gonna opt to go through this door. Look, see here. Oh, Killinger on the downstairs. You saw the blue laser? That's Killinger and Icy Woods working together. Killinger with the nade. Oh, just shy of the... Woods 43 finds Legel on the backside there. Legel with that advanced position in the hallway. Take a look there. On the right side of the map. Unfortunately, Killinger not able to get that grenade up into the doorway. Which would have been a fantastic replay. Now I see Woods looking for that kill. Scanning above him. So much penetrable cover. And they're trying to figure out what to do with this Viper situation here. And this door is definitely built to be a defensive position. You don't stack boxes outside doors like this unless you're trying to defend it. It makes it creates a choke point. Killinger gonna come around the corner here. Who's gonna win this trade? I think Killinger can see him. Oh, and he peeks and he misses. Viper heard the tablet pull. Comes around the corner and gets that kill. We're gonna we're gonna run that on a replay. So folks, the tablet now makes noise anytime you pull it. Not just if you pull it quickly, uh, uh, according to what I've been told by chat in previous casts. So pulling out that tablet does give an audio cue to the defenders that you are pants down, if you will. I see Woods peeks a corner and finds UC Death. And I can't keep track of where all these defenders are. I like open maps where I can just fly to people. Now I gotta fly through hallways. Gunshots from Viper confirmation rounds. Uh, Woods 43 putting rounds through the airlock. I see Woods creeping up. I see Woods actually doesn't have any defenders. Radar finds Woods 43 through the door. Now I see Woods needs to find Radar and then get on that objective. Actually, if he kills Radar and then gets right there and crouches down or lays down, that cap is doable. I don't think that it can be seen, but Radar, sorry, Viper watching this door. Now Radar watching that door as well. I see Woods doing the smart thing, rotating away. He's gonna have to make a long run. He's only got 54 seconds left. And the closest next exit for him is down here. Five seconds. Can he do it? 30 seconds left. He heard the beeps. He knows how much time is left. I don't know if he knows how many enemies are left, but Radar watching this very closely. Time running out. That smoke not making it inside, but it'll work. Radar finds the backside of Icy Woods. And the lonely duo take it for boss fight and get their second point on map number two. 
tying up map number two, two to two. And let's go find the next objective, shall we? The next objective is going to be in the cafeteria. Concourse, that's the correct term for this, apparently. Main concourse. Yes, because orbital is actually a um, air spaceport. So it's like an airport with a concourse. You have your hangar decks. You have objectives and gunfire. It's not, you know, I wouldn't really want to be in this uh, spaceport with all the uh, fighting that takes place in it. And these pillars look so cool. Is this map quest compatible, chat? I don't remember, but I feel like this kind of transparency is not doable on quest. So I wonder if it is quest or if he just kind of made those solid. Man, that looks so cool. Although I gotta be honest, it is uh, demolishing my computer right now. Now, defense-wise, we already saw one objective in here. We saw one right here in the in the bakery. That's what this is called, the bakery. And um, it was a little bit more defensible because it was it was offset. It was to a side of the concourse, and it had its own little walls and rooms. But here, we're not going to be seeing that. This is right in the middle of the concourse, super exposed. So, but I feel like the defense is the same. I mean, there's so many doors though. Like, uh, let's see. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen separate doors. And Legel finds one as they rush in. Killinger goes down as his uh, aggressive defensive positioning. I'm trying to get up top, I think. Boss fight pushing in a hard. You see death, and they're splitting the floors. They're pushing it from the same angle, splitting the floors, which is a good idea, I think, because it allows you to get those refrags. I lost track of one of those defenders. Smoils peeking out. Radar just having to hide there as Viper tries to get these kills. Viper, once again, running iron sights. Woods 43 here on the aggressive defense. Is Viper going to see it? He does. Woods 43 goes down to Viper. And the confirmation shots from Radar. I see Woods finds Legel. On the top floor there of the observatory. Smoils, Strajak, and Icy Woods last alive on the beginner's side. Strajak gonna opt to go into the middle. I'm not... See, I don't like that I can't hear comps because I'm not sure if he made this decision on his own or if he was told to go run into the middle and be a sacrifice. 35 is going to see the backside of him. Take him down. We're just going to make our own call-outs. I'm assuming I'll hear one of the Woods brothers go, Oi! Strategic! Go die! And he just kind of ran towards the enemy. Go to check the objective. That's, that's exactly how I envision it. You see death here. Looking, panning those angles. Smoils does have a good defensive position for a lot of the objective, but you know, if someone, hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to think, what's what's clear here? This side's covered, I see woods, Let's see it. Smoils can see here. So there's no, the only position that's super protected is if he ran across in the objective into that corner but I don't think he can make it that far. We've got Viper and Radar over here. I see Woods finds 35. Now that his position is known, Radar and Viper creeping up. Radar giving hand signals. Smoils finds UC Death. I didn't realize there was four big or four boss fight alive. Now Radar comes around the corner firing. Kills I see Woods. Smoils last man standing has to rush back to the objective. Him and Viper go down in a trade, and boss fight still alive. One man standing. Take their third point.
Excellent plays there. The aggressive defensive uh, flank. Killinger went down first, going just getting uh, out. Uh, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't consider Killinger's position aggressive. He was just trying to get out of the concourse. But one of the Woods brothers, I forget which one, did have an aggressive flank through the hangar. And it could have worked out. It was just wrong place, wrong time. Viper was looking down through that airlock right at him as he came through. Uh, if he had been there preset or if Viper had already made that cross, it would have been an entirely different story. Here we go. Potentially final round of map two. Round six. Boss fight in the lead with one point. Okay, we're gonna make up callouts because we can't hear them. So uh, I'm just gonna assume that Viper is saying, oh my God, Radar, I love you. Let me rub your shiny head. And Legil is just shaking his head. Once again, beginners getting very pushy here. But it doesn't look like they're gonna push in this way. They're gonna rotate away. So we're gonna follow them down this hall. Strajak Woods, 43, and Killinger going this way. Looks like the other two are also over here. Smoils is here now, at least. Where is the last member? He's on the far west side of the map all by himself. That would be Pause, I believe, right? No. Icy Woods is all by himself on the other side of the map while the rest of these guys push up. Shots did ring out. See who those are from. Those are from Radar. Not sure what he was shooting at. Maybe Icy Woods. We're gonna hop back over into the hallway here and see how far along these guys are gonna go. No, I just see the teleporter. Does the teleporter say where it goes? It goes to Hangar Bay, which is gonna put you out in here, or just through the door. Into here. Wait, what? Put him up there? Aha! That's where the teleporter goes. Okay. I see Woods finds UC Death through the non flyable window, but apparently you can't shoot through this. I'm assuming that there's just some player blocking going on there from the map creator side. Doesn't want people to just run through those open windows. We've got Viper down low, radar above, watching the opposite direction. Shots from 35 onto. Woods 43's angle. Now he's got to watch both sides, though. He's in a very tight spot. Strajak below him. Viper finds Smoils. Woods 43 putting shots onto somebody. I don't know who. Legel finds Strajak. Killinger trying to find Legel. Legel blows up Strajak with, or sorry, Killinger with a C4 was that at? Woods 43 finds 35 on the top floor. Now he's upstairs in the concourse. Where did Radar go? Was, it, was Radar dead? Radar is not dead, but he was in a good position to defend this. He was up there. Now he's over there. Not as good a position to defend. I see Woods is in and dead. Legel and I see Woods trade. Viper finds Woods 43 and boss fight take map number two. Four to two. Some great plays there on the boss fight side in what looked to be a heavily beginner's favored map to start out with. Good comeback there from boss fight.
And we're going to be moving on to map number three, but I think that there'll potentially be a rehost. I can't remember how the custom maps work, but let's go over the list of maps once again for the folks at home. We have Sand, Arctic, USS Quest, Orbital, Shipyard, Terminal, Frostbite, Panda Towers, Expedition Depths. And Terminal and Shipyard are banned. I see a player drop out. I'm assuming potentially he's going to create a new map or they're just waiting. Not really sure, but they do have to go to map three. And I'm thinking it's going to be... It's beginner's choice. See, once again... Frostbite was beginner's... Okay, never mind. Ignore what I was about to say. It was completely wrong. Uh, it, it's been a long day, guys. <laughs> um, we're actually going to cut to a quick intermission while these teams decide on their third map because I have to go get a drink. Right, we are back, and map number three, man, not the choice I would have made for a tie game, but we're moving on to, do do, what's it called? Panda Towers, that's what it's called, we're moving on to Panda Towers. And uh, <laughs> I don't like I don't like this map. I I feel like it's very heavily Volk sided, which is kind of confusing. While beginners would choose to take it. Because that's going to give boss fight the defensive advantage. I don't know. I feel like this was a bad decision. But again, I haven't played this map. I've only casted it.
But for the folks at home, let's hop into. Well, never mind. We're gonna hop into round one anyways, because that's the countdown timer. Here we go. Round one. But I was gonna give you a little overview of the map. See, basically, there are these buildings, and you've got an outside rooftop on both, and a tunnel in the middle. And those are your only ways to the objective. And this objective is gonna be up in here somewhere. Where's the objective at? Oh my god, where's the objective at? There's the objective in this little Christmas present room. So there's one of your crosses right here, but it looks like these teams are going to opt to go outside. So we're going to set some decent cameras up. And then we're going to see Spoils shoot at some stuff. So here's my problem with this one. Where, where 35 is, and the spot behind him, the stairs behind him here. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have an angle until you get down here. But you can cover that whole door. And you could even go down and come out down here and cover that whole door. I see Woods finds radar head. Legel finds him. Boss tries to get the refrag there. Can't find it. Doesn't know where the shots actually came from until Legel pops out. Legel does go down there. And the confirmation rounds do happen. Moyle's now running across the roof. Lonely Viper coming down to reinforce this position. Or not, as he opts to go back. Now the team, the push has slowed. We've got Killinger. Prone and through a doorway down this hallway. This hallway here, this hallway is death. You can't throw grenades because of the low ceiling. And you just end up having to do a peek in the corners and firing, or maybe even shooting and having someone crawl up while you're covering for them. But we've seen people like Viper take these long drawn out defensive positions and he can see into the tunnel yet he's pretty blended in Smoils and Paws. Paws going around the back side. Three minutes on the clock. The last three defenders of boss fight up on the objective. Watching it from various angles. 35 is actually outside watching that east side hole. I was gonna see the back side here, doesn't see anybody. Smoils just likes to fire his gun. I can fly around the back side here. Cool. 35 still watching that angle. Might be able to find Strategic if he keeps holding it. He has to make that decision on when to rotate back. He hears all these gunshots. He knows that stuff's happening. Smoils is actually just trying to draw attention to him. That's that's what he does. He he fires that LMG and has all that ammo to just draw attention. Now pause sneaking in the backside there not gonna have anybody to fight with until they get up onto the objective floor strategic also looks like he's gonna be rotating around back to the other side and it looks like they're all gonna push in from that east west i know my directions people it looks like they're all gonna be pushing in from the west side pause comes in the back door Now has all this office space to clear. Here's Killinger. I'm pretty sure that's Killinger's footsteps. Yeah, that is Killinger. Let's stick alongside pause here for a second as we look at the map. I don't see anybody else that's really going to be in, in contact with anybody.
Pause. Up in that flashbang. No, nope, that's good. Killinger goes down to 35. 35 is just down. Smoil's gonna hear those callouts potentially. I can't find my door. Pause finds Viper. Now it's all up to UC Death. And Stragex gonna find him through the door. It's getting pushed from multiple sides. Boss fight take their first point on map number three. Yeah, not a fan of this map. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel competitive. Maybe I need to play it more. I don't know. I'm surprised we didn't see anyone go through the tunnel of death, honestly. I feel like that would have been the, the play. Right through here. I wonder if someone, I don't know how tall this is because you know I'm in a camera, but I wonder if anyone's tall enough to like look over this. I don't think they are. But maybe you could fire over top of it. You could put your gun up and just like, hey. But once again, for the folks at home, Onward VR Master League, best of three custom map tournament. Join the league. Go to vrmasterleague.com slash onward. Register as a reservist. Make a team. Play the game. Season 11 coming at you soon. And potentially having these custom maps involved. Round two, map three. I really just want to see two teams just duke it out. Like, all five players on both sides just going for the tunnel. Look at these, these tight angles that people take. I see Woods looking through the, the table there. Take a look at the other side of the map. We've got Viper slowly creeping his way prone to scan the far room. He doesn't even have a scope. He doesn't have a 12X. He's just got... Did Icy Woods see him? He did! Icy Woods finds Viper on a tight angle there. Now the refrag trying to happen from Viper, or from Radar. Pause finds 35 on the backside. This position these stairs can cover this entire roof you can't get out onto this roof without clearing these stairs and that's a hard thing to do when you've only got one exit just feels like this side is heavily Volk favored now we've got radar and EUC death pushing up through the tunnel I see woods is still there sees a little bit of radar. Radar's a chunky boy. Ooh, radar, are you gonna pick up over it? Icy Woods finds UC Death. Radar checks. Knows this guy's dead. I don't know. Radar doesn't know where these shots are coming from. And I'm fairly certain that Icy Woods knows that radar is here. Who's going to get this peek here? Did Legend just throw smokes from down below? Wow, what a throw. Not going to not going to land where it needs to. But very impressive nonetheless. Oh, 
Oh, I see Woods sees Radar. Radar doesn't know where it's going for, but he moves. He rotates. He's going to hop and cover to cover. Gets a flashbang out. I don't think that's going to flash Icy Woods. It is not. He goes down. Icy Woods, one-man defender covering this entire tunnel. Now we got Lejel, last man standing. Let's see what he can do. Three minutes on the clock. Comes out the backside. You need to go inside the building, Legel. Inside. That's where the objective is. Oh, he's got the time. He can move slowly, but I don't know how slowly he can move. And all five beginners are still alive. some long odds here. I'm not really sure if I if I were a betting man. I don't know if I bet on this. Oh, C4. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Oh, he shoots it. Gives away his position. Comes around the corner, firing, finds Smoils. Around the next corner, doesn't find anybody. Takes a beat, hides in here. We're gonna get out of this first person, but that was a pretty impressive run. Does get through Stragic. Now they're kind of searching for him. Clearing the office, Icy Woods goes down Stragic, almost shooting him in the back, but Legel, unfortunately, going down to Stragic. Beginners taking their second point on map number three. Legel actually doing a very good job there, punching through that defense and getting into a good spot. Unfortunately, I think he got stuck on that wall, it looked like, when he was trying to exit. After he took the shots down the hall, it looked like he got stuck right there on that wall instead of making it through the door. And beginners take their second point. Now we're going to go find the next objective, which is going to be outside on the western roof. We saw a cap happen on this one the other day in our... Who did I cast? Uh... Mayhem versus somebody. Cannot remember. Peacekeepers, I think. We saw a cap happen. But again, there's only, I mean, four. There's there's four total ways to get here. You can come down the, out the backside and come here, or you can come out that door, which really is two ways in, but like, it's pretty close. It doesn't really count as two. You can come out that hole there, or you can come around the backside of this building here. The only other thing you can do though, is you can sit up top in that catwalk and defend Mut I mean, you can you can defend your attack from rotations. Words are hard today, guys. Radar is going to run up into the building, and is he going to get into contact? Runner out past Killinger. Killinger not hearing this. Smoyle's not hearing this. Radar and Smoyle's trading. Killinger going, what? Checks his backside. Doesn't see anybody. Goes back to what he was doing. Tragic finds Legil. What a long shot. Across? the roofs and at an angle now you see death here just kind of hanging out real low like to stay behind his safety wall killings are just waiting for people to come through this corner Killinger confirming the body after like a solid, what, 
two minutes of gameplay. Minute. He's like, maybe I should just shoot this guy. You see death here exposed on the backside. Oh no, he's behind the cover of snow. That bulletproof snow, best cover in the world. And here comes the pain. Strategic up top, gonna be able to put rounds onto anywhere on this roof, basically. Pause. Also doing the stay as low as you can maneuver, hiding behind that wall, just like you see death. Tuck your knees to your chest. Three members of boss fight left. Stragic actually not opting to peek the top. And there you go. Now he's peeking the top and scanning the roof. Pause is slowly creeping up here. His head is just over it. Can you see death? See it. This is what the players see, folks. We're going to turn off those name tags real quick. You can see... No information for UC Death to work off of there. 35 finds Stragic on the cross. Pause sees UC Death. Oh, oh, oh! Friendly Nate almost kidding him. UC Death finds Dr. Killinger in the door. Pause finds UC Death. Clears that out. Now Viper needs to rotate back. Viper looking for the kill across the roof. Can't see pause yet because he's behind the, the snow pile. And this is exactly the position we saw rushers get capped on from. Viper can't cover the pass. They're assuming that they're coming out of the door, but they can already be on the objective. Thirty-five coming in from the backside to defend this. I see Woods. Coming out the backside. 35 waiting for him. 35 finds him. Clears that out. Now Viper and 35 having to deal with pause. Pause. Still has nobody watching the objective. Viper does rotate. Pause missing those shots. A grenade. Oh, that's just a flashbang. Most anticlimactic utility ever. Now pause is looking for 35, and he finds him. Now he finds Viper. Wow, what a cleanup there by pause. The replay there. Check out. Pause looking underneath, and then Viper just rotating right into it. Beginners taking three points. Three points on map number three. Not looking good for boss fight, but however, I mean, we can't count them out. Boss fight can come back. They came back on frostbite, I believe. So, I mean, don't count them out, but there's a long road ahead. They have to win the next four rounds or four points in a row. I mean, they could get a cap. That's it's very possible, but that's a, it's a big ask. And, once again, that round could have been over. Pause could have just walked up onto that objective after killing UC Death. There was nothing between him and the objective. The position that everyone took to defend this objective behind that piece of concrete right here, this piece of concrete, does not allow for you to see the cross to the objective. You can see a sliver of potentially if they cross let's see let's see if they crossed right here you could potentially see a sliver but i mean you're talking milliseconds looking in the right time if they just go around behind here walk right up to the objective tap and bob's your uncle that's i mean i don't know why p 
people think that they have coverage of the objective. Have you ever have you ever radioed your team and been like, hey, do we have eyes on the objective? And they're like, yeah, and then you immediately get capped on? That's the kind of thing we're seeing right here, and that shouldn't happen at this high level. Y you know, these teams should know. They should know better. Round four, map three. And to be fair, we're gonna just say it's Viper. We're not gonna say these teams. We're gonna say Viper should know better. Because if that was Radar alive, he would have been running to the objective. I believe in Radar. Killinger gonna get aggressive and push into this building. Ooh, just barely missing Viper. He's looking through the Hesco's now. And shots from Legel. You see Death gonna come through the door. Just as Killinger looks away, you see Death now in the open. Killinger not seeing it because of the crack. You see Death not gonna be ready for it. You see Death goes down. Killinger behind these Hesco's. Viper's still looking for it. Viper sees him, takes him down. Cleans him up with a headshot. Radar finds Icy Woods from the top floor there. And again, this is the position that I think has all the power. Radar in 35 with crossfire from above. Smoils only has a few options. They have to stay tucked on this, on the... Was this the uh, western side of all of the rooftop cover? Four members of boss fight alive, three members of beginners. Pause on objective. Strategic on the backside. But if any of them try to rotate, they're going to get shot. Smoke's rolling in now from Viper across the roofs. Roofs? Roofs? Is it like hooves? Horses have hooves. We have roofs. Single one is a roof. Yeah, I know, folks. It's been a long day, okay? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Viper gets more smokes out. Radar takes that elevator. There is an elevator in both of these buildings, I believe, to get up and down. Oh, wow. Was that a flash right on the Smoils? That definitely hit him. Had to have hit him. Viper goes down to pause. Those lasers move. Trained in. 35 now watching for pause to rotate. 35 trying to get a better angle onto this defender. Got radar on the back side of the building there. On the left side of the screen... Is he going to see pause? Can they see each other? They cannot. 35 still trying to look for those angles. On to the defense. Legil still just waiting for Smoils. I think he saw Smoils barrel at some point. And that smoke uh, not making it where it needed to go. Bye, smoke. We miss you. Oh, it just completely vanished. Thirty-five should have made the call out that there's one. I mean, it's hard to give call outs for locations. There's like three or four buildings on, or pieces of concrete on this roof that look exactly the same. But I mean, basically the call out would be right on objective, dead center roof, or even better, right where I just threw smoke. That's a good way to call out positions. Throw smoke on it. Two minutes and 15 seconds left. Boss fight need to stay alive. Three on three with a 3-0 score to beginners. Radar. Going to have to find Smoils here. Radar going to find Smoils through the crack. What a good pick there. Strajak finds Legel. Who I believe rotated because of the gunshots from Radar. Radar finds pause. Now it's all up to Stragix. 35 needs to crash down. Actually, 35 needed to stay up where he was. Uh, what? Running away from the objective, people. Stragix, last man standing on defense. 
goes and runs away. Boss fight taking their first point on map number three. I I don't I don't I don't know. I don't understand. He last man standing and you decide to leave not only the objective but the entire rooftop that the objective is on. I mean, I guess you're going to go get yourself killed, but like, I I don't know. That's a risky play. That whole time, if they had called for a cap, that would have been a cap. Boss might take their first point and start their comeback, potentially, on map number three. Total score right now is very, very even. One point overall towards beginners. It is nine to eight. Oh yeah, we have a new objective now, don't we? Let's go find this objective. I think it's in this building. Yes, this building over here. Is it upstairs? I think so. Where are the stairs? Well, not a lot of uh, cover on this objective to defend from. But they do have to get into the building, so you know, you're going to be able to defend from inside the objective, or inside the building. As long as you can keep them out, you can win. But, ooh, I hope they just come barreling down this. Let's see what's going to happen here on offense on round number. Oh, you thought I was going to leave that overlay up, didn't you? No faith, people. No faith. I see Woods, Killinger, and Stragic looking for the tunnel. Just go for it. Just just YOLO. Leroy, send Stragic first. It's fine. Hmm... I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like this has to be the play, right? The other way you're coming up, your only other options to get to this objective are an elevator or stairs. Both of those are, check, are, are choke points. At least this way, you can have more than one person firing their gun at the same time. And I mean, let's, let's take a quick spin here. We've just got, here's beginners. Where the rest of them go. Uh, Paws and Smoils are going to opt to go downstairs and go out. And there's all of Boss Fight over there. We can almost get everyone in the same shot here. You can see Killinger making callouts. You can see him grabbing his radio and making those callouts, but unfortunately, we cannot hear them because the game won't let us for some reason. Wait, do I have him turned down? Nope, that's not an option anymore. 35. Can they see 35? No. I mean, there's no one in here, so they can't they can take the whole tunnel. This defense looking really good. We've got good angles here. We've got radar looking through two doors. Grenade right there, Viper. That nade right there, folks, was the check for C4. That was a, uh, a vibe check right there. I don't think there's any C4. I haven't seen any C4 being used uh, except once. Legel did use some on Orbital. And there was some placed by someone on Beginners that Legel shot. 
last time. Do you have a clacker on you? You're the specialist class. You do not have a clacker on you. Hmm, what about you? You are a specialist class. You've got a molly and a C4, but your C4 is on your chest. Now's the time to place it. Once they've started throwing frags, let's see if Viper can throw it. Bets on if Viper can put this C4 where he wants. Oh, he's not going to throw it. He's going to put it back on his chest. But yeah, that's the that's the good play there. That's some 200 IQ plays. So, so you, you have a C4 placement, right? You definitely want to cover this with C4. But you wait until they throw their check nades to make sure that it's not there. And then you place it. If you're close enough to do it like Viper is, then that's a great play. Now Killinger moving up into the danger zone. With his backup of Stragic and Icy Woods. Take a look at the overhead he's got. Ooh, Killinger finds radar as he peeks around the corner. Now he comes around the corner firing. Finds Lejel on the long angle. C4. C4 goes out. Viper doesn't find anybody. He finds Icy Woods. Another. Oh, a Molly comes out. Finds one. Stragic goes down. Sorry, Stragic takes down Viper. Wow. Let's hit that replay button. We want to get all that. See if we can get all that action into this one shot. Now UC Death peeks the corner. Stragic takes him down. Wow, I'm not really sure how Stragic lost that one. Chaos unfolding. 35 takes down Spoils. Pause takes down 35. You see Death takes down Pause. And Boss Fight take their second point. Woo! Craziness. C4. Molotov. Trade after trade. Refrag after refrag. That's the action that you see from these top teams. And wow. Wow. Just wow. Okay, folks. Just just quote. Trip 2020. Wow. Unfortunately, that C4 play from Viper did not find anybody, but it is a great throw. He did make it, I mean, relatively where he needed it to go. It just wasn't able to find Killinger. Killinger head tucked back into the catwalk. Beginners still lead map three, three to two. And are on defense. Can boss fight punch through this defensive hold on this objective? I don't I don't know. It it seemed like a pretty strong defense. Like I said, the best approach is through the catwalk, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's I am personally a fan of sending five through one way. It lends itself to overwhelm one side of a defense. And if you can do that, then you force the rest of the defense to rotate and fill in for those gaps, which then makes it easy to kill them because they're out of position and they're just running. But it also could end poorly uh, in the case of like what we just saw. Viper could have had a C4 and, you know, you could all die to a C4 or a C5. Uh, but we're hopping into round six. Same spawns. Viper taking up his position. Designated protector of the catwalk. Are you, and you're not using a sniper rifle anymore, right? Yeah, you are using a full auto. What? Why do, what do you take that you need to give up a scope? You've got a, or a, a flash and a smoke, so that's two points. I'm assuming body armor is two points. I don't know what else you have. Maybe more syringes? Opt to take a optic and Stratjack slowly crawling away from the gunfight with Viper. Both of them missing their shots. Look at the defense here. Killinger in the same spot. Icy Woods in the same spot. Everybody here is basically in the same position that the boss fight was. Except for Stratjack who's just kind of running around in the open now. Gonna rotate. It's a good spot. Long angles. It's again, they're trying to boss fight, trying to draw that attention with the gunfire. Don't know how well it works against these top teams, but they seem to do it all the time. Anyways, radar 35 and Lejel down below the objective. Let's see if we can hop down to one of their cameras. 35 and radar in the bunk bed. 
area, bunkhouse. Ledgular right here as well. Stairs. So we've got stairs here and stairs there. And chat just informed me because I was wrong earlier. There's only an elevator in the north building. The south building only has stairs. And they're both right here. Hey, okay, there's one right there. Radar just pointed. I don't know. I don't know what that hand signal was for. I think they're trying to push the stairs together. Shots into the smoke from Icy Woods. 35 finds pause. 35 goes down to Icy Woods. Now Radar coming out the door, trying to find the kill. Icy Woods comes flying around the corner and finds both of them. Smoils finds Legel on the other stairs. The stairs are shut down and now it's all up to the tunnel. Oh, I didn't get a replay. Incorrect replay there. Sorry about that, folks. Must not have hit the button. Now UC Death and Viper are going to have to make the decision. Do they push through? Do they try and punch through? Four beginners still alive? Or do they try and rotate? The stairs are not a good option. The stairs did not work well for three members of their team. What is Viper going to do? Desktop. Who was that? Smiles. <laughs> oh, I think he just confirmed a body. That's probably what he did. Yeah, Viper. I think Viper's realizing that they don't have the time to do this. Oh, no, he is. He's going downstairs. Okay. Two minutes on the clock. Man, Viper is taking a lot of time. Is he lost? UC Death has backed off of the catwalk. Viper now running across the rooftops. Gonna come in, try and take those stairs. Minute 20 left on the clock. Viper blowing through a lot of time just making this rotation. You see Death doing what he's supposed to, waiting until his teammate is in position to make this approach from both sides. Let's preset some cameras. So we got UC Death here, and we're going to have Viper coming up one of these stairs. One there. And one. death here Strajak finds UC death now it's all up to Viper wrong camera beginners take map number three and the series the final score of 10 to 9 so close. So close. And that is it for us on the desk. Shout out to everyone that came by and watched the cast. Uh, we had a cast earlier. I think we might actually have a second cast going. Let me take a quick look real quick. Because um, I see the other casters in chat. So let me see if there's a Onward VR ML2 going on right now. There is Blaze versus Brothers in Arms is happening on 
on Remaster League 2. So we're going to cut it here. We're going to be done. We're going to send you over there. Shout out to our sponsors, HyperX, Asterian, Rebuff Reality, ProTube VR, uh, Cyber Shoes, Fix Gaming, B Haptics, VR Cover. And I think I'm forgetting somebody, but you all know them. You all love them. They've been cycling through the screen. Uh, congrats to beginners for going undefeated in the custom map tournament if i believe my information is correct and that is it from the casting desk i am your caster triple nipple and we are signing out see you on the flip side